Dan White, it's so nice to see you, pal. You look good. Going, where, are you in, where are you and how are you doing? Uh, I'm in New York City on 28th Street. I'm, I'm doing real well, uh, you know, with my wife and uh, my, my, my daughter. We've been- I mean, How old is she now? Is she two? She's two, she's two. Uh, and Beautiful. we've been sort of like doing like what you've been doing, some arts and crafts projects. I've been drawing with her and doing some cool stuff and working on magic tricks with her actually. Is there anything you can show us? Yeah, I'm gonna show you something kind of cool. Um, you know, obviously I'm used to performing on the stage uh, and this is kind of a different, you know, sort of stage space. So I thought we'd kind of look at things from a different perspective. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you an example of that. Um, this water bottle right here, if you look at it from a different perspective, uh, it's actually not a water bottle at all. It's actually uh, a piece of paper stuck oh through paper in some Play-Doh. Kind of I was going to say something. I was going to say, hey, do it yourself. You? Magic. <laughs> but that's what I mean. I think it's important right now, since we are all at home, to do something that we normally would never do together. Uh, I want to do something with everybody at home at the very, very same time. Um, so if you're at home and you want to try something really cool, uh, let's do it. Uh, all you need is a calculator. Uh, and I realized that the easiest way to get a calculator is just by grabbing your phone. So uh, if you have your phone, Jimmy, if you have your phone at home, grab your phone. If you have a computer, use that or just an old school calculator. We just need a calculator. Uh, and once you've got that, I want you to open up your calculator app and hit zero. So we're at zero. I want you to think of a one digit number, a one digit number. Just think of it in your head. Okay. Great. And without hitting clear, equal, or zeros, I want you to type that number into your phone. Good. And there's no way I can know what number you typed in, Jimmy. There's no way I can know what anybody has typed in. But we're going to make it more impossible. I want you to hit the multiply button. Good. I want you to hit a different single digit number. Mm -hmm. Good. And hit the multiply button again. Mm -hmm. And a different single digit number. Mm -hmm. And I want you to keep doing that. Hit the multiply button and a different single digit number. Multiply button and different single digit number until you get a number in the millions. And once you have a number in the millions, I just want you to stop. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wait for everybody to do that. Once you have a number in the millions, just stop. Yes, I have it in the, in the millions, yes. You got a number in the millions. Great. Yep. Uh, everybody at home should have a number in the millions. There's no way I can know what number you've ended up on, uh, but we're going to make it a little bit easier to remember. Jimmy and everybody at home, I want you to add up all of the single digit numbers on your, in your total in your head. So add up all the single digit numbers in your head that are in your total. Gotcha. So now you should be thinking of a new number. Yes. You have that new number in your head? Yes. Good. Everybody at home should be thinking of a new number as well. Jimmy, I've got a list here uh, of a hundred different people, places, and things. I want you to find your number on this list, and I want you to think of the thing that corresponds uh, with your number. So, for instance, if you were thinking of 61, you'd be thinking of churros right now. You okay. Got it? Yes. So now you should be thinking of a person, place, or thing. Let's take this another step. I want you to think of a country that most closely relates to that person, place, or thing. Okay. You got it? Yes. Good, let's take this one more step. I want you to think of a famous landmark or monument in that country, something that everyone would recognize. Famous landmark, monument, building. Sure. You got one? Yes. Great, so now you and everybody at home are thinking of a landmark or monument or building in your head. Yes. Jimmy, what if I told you that I've had a prediction sitting here this entire time of what that landmark is? I First, wouldn't believe you. This is bizarre. I mean, I'm, let's I'm start with everybody at home. I've had a prediction behind this poster on my wall. Oh my gosh. But if we look at things a little bit differently, you'll notice that this actually isn't a poster. It's actually a little postcard. And on the back of this postcard, I did a drawing. And that drawing is of the pyramids. Uh -huh. I know you can't hear this, but everybody at home right now is thinking of the pyramids. Wow. But I can tell by your reaction, Jimmy, you're not thinking of the pyramids. Is that correct? <laughs> I, I'm trying to act like I did, but no, that's not no. what I was thinking. Um, Jimmy, what, 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 what monument are you thinking of? What landmark? The Opera House? The, op the Opera House. What, what Opera House? The Sydney op Opera House? Sydney. <laughs> In, in Australia. Yeah. Sydney Opera House. Well, Jimmy, 
here's the thing. That monument's been staring at you this entire time. At the beginning, I mentioned that I've been doing some drawings with my daughter, and I have. Uh, they've been on this wall the entire time. And these aren't <laughs> teepees or butterflies. They're actually... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Opera house. See, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, my gosh. You are the greatest. Dan White, I love you, man. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Dan White, ladies and gentlemen, you are the greatest. Thank you so much. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.